what's up youtube it's another year another season welcome to season two of fat guys bbq guys it's been a long winter been a cold winter we tried to shoot a few videos over the winter just couldn't happen the wind today you're going to hear some wind noise we're going to do our best we're, we're hitting about 40 mile an hour gust there's a fire behind my house here on my compound mostly com contained but the wind's still blowing but we're going to offer you starting today season two and today we told you last season grills were coming so during the winter my grill come jacob's come i think we shot a few videos on his right before winter come head on with us on his yoder ys640 took almost three months for me to get my new one from the time it started to build but we've got it in house and and fired up today we are going to use it jacob let's go over here and show it to him yes sir that is the lone stars out of Texas, custom built pallet smoker. We told you they were coming. They are here with a 40 pound hopper with our PDI controllers running. You can see we're running at 227, we're set at 225. Today's cook will be run at 225. You asked, what are you going to cook today? We're going to do bacon burn-ins. So we're going to do bacon burn-ins at 225. And then we'll show you the process. Ready to do it? Let's get to cooking, fat guys. Season two. Here we are. I told you bacon burn-ins. Look at that slab of uncooked bacon. It's been cured. It's been pre-smoked. But it's not done. We're gonna lay it in here. We're gonna cover it, rub it down in ba mustard. Like we do all of our barbecue. Do a mustard rub. And imagine I, I get the bottle that it's not open into the refrigerator. We're gonna rub it down. Use our binders or mustard. Then we're going to use a Heath Rawls Honey Chipotle. You guys know that Jacob and I love spice. Make sure we get our sides. And there's the wind, boys. And girls, we told you it was coming. Some of you know, some of you don't know. We'll let everybody know. This will be a lot more trickier at times. Jacob got a promotion for the winter. Jacob is no longer on my shift. Jacob got his own shift. On nights. <laughs> And that's the problem. <laughs> we are on the same days, so the, the days that I work, Jacob also works. However, Jacob works the night shift. And I've told him, only the devil works at dark. <laughs> so we give him problems. But it'll work out. We're gonna see Jacob some next couple weeks. You're gonna see Jacob do his own video with me behind the camera. Make sure we're getting our, in, our sides to make sure we get everything coated well. We'll do these just like we did the pork belly burn-ins. Except it's a bacon. And how can you go wrong with bacon? Right, Jacob? That's exactly right. Unless you let it be limp. 
or I mean, it's not wet, but you crisp it up way too much. Jacob likes it extra crispy. Extra crispy is the way to go. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. We've had this discussion. We can agree to disagree, <laughs> but you're wrong. Caleb? I can do Jacob on this one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> As we told you, we've got the cook-off between Mr. Robbie Scott. We'll have to plan that now. It's starting to warm up a little bit. So last week of March here. So maybe we can convince him before too long that he can be the guillotine because he knows it's going to happen. He just don't want to admit to it, guys. What do you think, Jacob? I agree with you. Give it a few minutes of sweat in while we let our smoker finish coming up. Jasper, for our new subscribers, explain what a binder is and why you pat the rub and not rub it. Okay, a binder, most meat, you dry it off a little bit before you cook it and rub it. So binder just lets the barbecue seasoning adhere to the meat. That's why we call it a binder. It binds it together. We don't rub, we pat. Rub it, it, rubs it all off, rubs it up in clumps. You have more flavor in another place. So just pat it in. Best thing after you pat it in, is let that salt, because most rubs have salt. Salt pulls moisture out, pulls rubs in, and then it pulls the moisture back in to keep it moist. Throughout the cook, you have a, a good moist barbecue, good rubs, good moist food to eat. It's not dry. It's going to be good. So we're going to give us about 10 minutes to pull the flavors in and then we'll put it on the smoker. You'll see us when we come back. All right, guys, we're back. We're ready. The bacon burn-ins is pull the salt in, come moisture. We're ready to put them in the smoker. You can see smokers up to temp, been stabilized. It will a pellet grill is not like your Kamado that I that you all seen us use last year. You will still see us use it. We're gonna do a cook later today that for another episode. But we will use the egg and the Kamado style. But it doesn't hold the temperatures at a steady mark. It does a pellet grill will work like your oven. It'll go up 10, 15 degrees, and it'll be down 10 or 15, but it will average out at your average temperature of 225. So remember that it won't always be the same. And the Kamado won't either. You don't see it as much because of the fluctuations. We don't have a digital, digital readout. readout. We have a analog that goes, which works perfectly well. But here we go. We're gonna set it on the top right, a farthest away from our fire pot. Our fire pot on this side. You can see, guys, the starting to be wet from the moisture, from the salt pulling moisture out to pull itself in. That's hot. I mean, very hot. I've got the fat cap of that bacon pulled up, and we're just gonna stick this in to get a reading. Not necessarily that's what we want, but that's what we're going to do. Because once again, we do by feel. And we're going to close this down. We're going to let it ride for about two hours. We'll see you back in about two hours, you two. All right, guys, we're back here with our bacon burn in. What I'm going to do now, just take these off. Let's go over here to the cutting board. And what we're gonna do now, you two, is take and slice our bacon burn ends here. We're gonna slice it up into cubes. We 
We're gonna do the same thing, and then we'll put it in bacon. We're gonna come in, cut the rest of this, and then we'll bring you back. All right, all right guys, we're back with the cubed up bacon burn ends. All right, just like we did on our pork belly. We're gonna put some brown sugar down on top. Ended up having two pans. It don't look like there's that much there, but once we started, we had quite a bit. Getting this brown sugar mixed in on it. You know how. Then after we do that, we're gonna put some barbecue sauce down on top. This time we're gonna use some Jack Daniels. Still working on some flavors from the fat guys. I've run out of my other Joe Bills. I'm about to run out of the Jack Daniels too, it looks like, Jacob. Yep. Gonna start making our own barbecue sauce. That's it in the works. Working on it. Not made a combination I like yet. And then we're just gonna mix these in. So if you'll sneak over there, we'll turn me a couple sheets of tin full off just to cover these up. What this does is just making it render down just a little bit more. Gets it nice and soft. It's pretty soft now. But it's going to get it real nice and soft. And then one last thing before you finish it out is a little bit more of the rub. Not as much as the first rub, just to dust it. And that wind's blowing that rub everywhere. I didn't realize it when we first started. It got in Jacob's eye. Alright, I believe we're ready for the aluminum full. Let's wrap it up real tight. Let it steam at its own. That's all you're doing here. All right, then we're going to just go the smoker with it. All right, then. What we'll do YouTube, let it set for about an hour, hour and a half, 
come and have us some bacon burn ins. See you in a little bit. All right, you two, we're back with Caleb. Still our sampler today with our bacon burn ins. Let's sample one. That honey chipotle with that smoke flavor and then that barbecue rub and with that barbecue sauce and that brown sugar makes it it's like it's just sweet enough but it's not too sweet mm-hmm guys that is the bacon burn ends we hope you've enjoyed it this week <laughs> Once again, it's a season two of Fat Guys Barbecue. We'll try to get them out at 4.30 each Friday. Hope you like, share, subscribe, bell notification. Hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching Fat, Fat Guys, Guys Barbecue. Barbecue.